You know, that was a football game. We had our opportunities, uh, especially there in the second half where we were inside the 35, I believe, three times and went forward on fourth down. One was a fourth and short. We just didn't take advantage of our opportunities. Our defense was outstanding today. They only gave up 23 points uh, to a team that had been giving up 38 points a game. Uh, and they did it consistently, you know, really throughout the game. Uh, they've been averaging 477 yards a game, and today they had uh, 383. So hats off to the defense. They gave us a lot of opportunity to win that one. You know, Texas came out firing like we knew they would, um, throwing the ball deep, running the ball, um, good, good backs. Um, I mean, they were, they were, they were, they were a really good team, um, just like we knew they would be. It, it was, it was a fighting. I mean, they lasted longer than we did, so. Like I said, there's a lot for us to take away from this game, um, both individually and from you know a team standpoint, um, headed towards the future. I can't thank him enough for what he's done, because um, I mean it, it it was hard, and he was there for us, and he made sure that you know we were taken care of, no matter what it was. He made sure we were taken care of, and that's how he is every single day as a coach, not with just with the RB, you know, just with with everything. That's how he is as a coach. And I love him and I appreciate him for that. Well, we were, it's under center play, so all I do is just fake it to the running back and I go through my progression. Um, I didn't really see anything and I felt that the left side defensive backs were all flush towards the right side of the field. So I decided to pull it down and I fell Robbie in front of me and I set up the outside block and then I went inside and touched off from there. I take the season as a whole, I take how we were coached every day, I take um, the mentality we had every day at practice and for next year I hope that in every aspect that we are better in every single way. It's going to be my job, along with others, to make sure that we're on what we're supposed to be doing, that we have high intensity, that we're ready to go every day, and to do everything in our power, starting from spring workouts and starting from the summer, that we do not want the result that we had this year. So I feel that we all learned a lot. Everyone coming back um, has literally been through what we've been through, so we can all use that as motivation to get better. I mean, he's a great man, a man that I can look up to, a man that I can always think about or remember no matter where I am in life or wherever he is in life that he's a good man and that I would want my son to have a behavior or a charismatic way about him that he does. For these young men to play as hard as they did uh, throughout from start to finish is an absolute uh, tribute to the type of character they have and resiliency where they never quit. And, you know, a lot of these young men um, what they will realize at 30 or 40 is they're going to have some bigger highlights uh, than Rice football because these are young men that are, are uh, difference makers, just not on this university but in this world. And it's been my honor, as tough as this has been, to uh, to coach them this season.